We're getting a clearer picture of how Michigan's attorney general and some lawmakers want to crack down on people who they say are exploiting Michigan's medical marijuana law. 24 Hour News 8's Tony Talavia is at the live desk to break it all down. And Michigan Attorney General Bill Schuette and a group of lawmakers, prosecutors, law enforcement officials outlined these plans today. The Attorney General says he believes there are too many loopholes in Michigan's Medical Marijuana Act. First, he says allowing people to use medical marijuana and then get behind the wheel of a car goes against the Michigan Motor Vehicle Code. He says it can lead to more accidents. Second, he says too many people are taking advantage of loopholes to try and get their hands on marijuana. To solve that, he introduced a series of new crimes to try and crack down on such abuse. The changes would make it a felony for doctors to knowingly say a person has a debilitating medical condition that allows them to get mar medical marijuana, to knowingly submit false information on an application for a patient or medical marijuana caregiver card, to knowingly alter a patient or caregiver card, to knowingly have another person's card, or to transfer or let someone else use your card. Legislation would also ban felons from being caregivers and would make it a misdemeanor for a patient or caregiver to fail to report a lost or stolen card within seven days. The Michigan Medical Marijuana Law was passed by Michigan voters in 2008. Last December, the city of Wyoming approved a ban on medical marijuana. Law enforcement officials said, say, said at the time it was causing problems for them. That decision prompted a lawsuit. The attorney general says he expects bills to be introduced on this issue this fall. We caught up with a person who runs a compassion club. He says he is supportive of these changes. We'll watch what happens in Lansing. At the live desk, Tony Talia via 24 hour news.